25 pounds, number 83, Mr. Camaro. At wide receiver, 5'11", 150 pounds, number 4, Mr. Gertz. At 5'1", 165 pounds, number 65, Mr. Gertz. At five foot, 110 pounds, wide receiver number 49, Mr. Harrison. At five two, 120 pounds, defensive tackle number 44, Mr. Hayes. At five four, 130 pounds, a fullback middle linebacker number 11, Mr. Hughes. Receiver number 84, Mr. Irby. Right, At defensive line, 5'4, 140 pounds, number 57, Mr. Jack. At 5'1, 100 pounds, wide receiver number 10, Mr. Johnson. At 4'11, 110 pounds, wide receiver number 8, Mr. Kelly. At defensive line, 5'3, 160 pounds, number 55, Mr. Light. At 5'2, 120 pounds, number 39, Mr. Light. Mr. Manis. At 5'4", 130 pounds, defensive lineman, number 67, Mr. McHale. At 5'1", 100 pounds, number 16, Mr. Meyer. At 5'3", 135, defensive back, number one, Mr. Miner. At 5'4", 135 pounds, number 17, middle linebacker, Mr. Nelson. At 5'7", 134, number 46, Mr. Parker. 5'1", 105 pounds, 27, not here tonight, T. Powell. And at 51, 5'4", 145 pounds, lineman, Mr. Ray Miller. At 5'3", 115 pounds, number three, Mr. Sears. At 5'2", 135 pounds, number 31, linebacker, Mr. Smith. Center at 5'5", 150 pounds, Mr. Thompson. Number 64 at 5'9", 195 pounds, Mr. Brummett. At 4'10", 85 pounds, a halfback. Number 18, Mr. Cuff. At 4'11", 125 pounds, offensive lineman, Mr. Doherty. At 5'10", 195 pounds, number 72, Mr. Feitner. Mr. Feitner! At 3'7", 85 pounds, defensive lineman, number 22, Mr. McElhaney. Slow At 5'7", 100 
150 pounds, number seven, Mr. Taylor Jr. We'll begin the only one left in the mix. By now you have probably heard the story of Dayton Colonel White football player Bobby Martin, who has no legs. Officials mistakenly wouldn't let him play in a game against Mount Healthy. As Marshall Harris explains, much like Martin, Reading seventh grader Dominic McElhaney is also playing despite physical limitations. Get your hands out, Greer. His licks don't shake the sled as hard. His pace is admittedly slow. Nevertheless, each practice, every game. Stevens and lineman number 22, Mr. McElhaney. Dominic McElhaney makes his stand. They didn't think that I'd be able to do it because, um, because the way I am. But I, but I told them to give me a chance, and they gave me a chance. And I never heard from him yet. Born without arms and legs, Dominic signed up for Reading's junior high football team without his parents' knowledge. After finding out, they didn't balk at the idea. Neither did the coach, Lance Runyon, who's also a special education teacher. When he came out, um, my, my initial thought, honestly, you know, being special ed and working with that population was it's another kid, just different, you know, different type of uh, challenges. It was iffy at first. He wouldn't get killed, but I'm real proud of him. A lot of guys say he shouldn't be out there, he don't belong out there, but I'm not gonna tell him no. So with his doctor's clearance and special padding for his lower body, Dominic was in position at nose guard. You know, the lower you are at that position and the more you can clog up that hole, the better. And for him, uh, it wasn't our choice to put him there. He actually came up to me and uh, with his limited knowledge of football, that's what he said he wanted to do. You know, I wanna play nose guard coach. He's played in all but one B team game Amazing those who have watched, drawing a great deal of respect, but at the same time, little sympathy from those who line up against him. It doesn't stop them from trying to win, because him playing nose guard, uh, when we played Deer Park, uh, right off the bat, they ran right at him, right up the gut, you know. And first part of me was, you know, the protective arms, ooh, well, don't do that. And the other part of me, yeah, I'd probably do that too. They think that I'm actually doing a pretty good job for someone like me. They say I've got guts to go out there with no arms and legs. Football may be the roughest sport Dominic's played, but it's certainly not the first. He's done everything from baseball to bowling to basketball, with plenty of detractors along the way. Each time they said he couldn't, he proved that he could. Me and you seeing him do something looks odd, but to him, he don't know any other way. So it's just normal to him. That's how he does it. I've seen him in basketball games where uh, he's boxing people out harder than you know, anybody else on the court. So it didn't surprise me that, that he didn't quit. And, as a matter of fact, it's never entered his mind. While he may be a few steps behind on the plays that go away from him, that he's made it on the field to begin with leaves them standing tall. Marshall Harris, Local 12. Amazing courage, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And great for him. Thank we'll you. be